Welcome to the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today, our player of the game, presented by Coca-Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. Here's Mike. Coach, uh, here with Coach O'Hanlon. Coach, you come off 10 days off, and uh, obviously you're looking for a spark. You put up 93 tonight, but a good basketball team, but you executed tonight, I thought. Yeah, at times we did. You know, we were sometimes walking in mud. It's, uh, it, it's that game coming out of the exams that, uh, or for whatever reason, we just, uh, it's hard sometimes to get started. We're playing, you know, before we come into that 10 days, every couple days, and then all of a sudden you're trying to keep them sharp, and it's hard. It is hard, and a team you're probably supposed to beat, but they came out with a little energy in that second half, but you responded well, and I thought you shared the basketball real well tonight. No, we did a good job with sharing the basketball, and, and you know, it was one of those games I, I know we're in control, but it's like you just don't want to get in bad habits, you know, and they're a good team in their, at, their, at their level. Yeah. Uh, they're picked to win their league, and they have some pretty athletic guys, and Philly guys, they're, I mean, Emotep and some very tough kids, you know, so we knew that they're going to offer resistance but we just have to keep running our game exactly and a good game to come back on and every player in uniform scored tonight that's got to be a good feeling when you can go that deep on the bench and get those guys some valuable playing time well that's the nice part about this game you can get these guys in they work so hard in practice they're always there and uh you get an opportunity to play them and they come in and had some success i mean they did a good job one more before you start the league coach good win tonight yeah thank you appreciate it let's bring in paulis Ball is 15 and 10 tonight, your first double-double since you were a freshman. I don't know if you actually knew that, but a great game tonight. I thought Coach said you shared the ball well, and you got off to a great start. Yeah, I don't know the little fact, but uh, thank you for that. Yeah, just a little, out of, a little stretch out of finals, you know, when we have a lot of school. It's, it's key to come out here strong and, and show that we've been working on our game and don't let, you know, don't let that schedule of finals kind of get, get into our game. So that was a big key for us. Everybody knows the Patriot League. We're about being students first. So tell me a little about that. You come out of 10 days. Not everybody's at practice all the time. So it's tough to get that continuity back. Exactly. But our guys, we have a great culture of people getting in the gym on their own time. So that was never a problem. When people have an exam in the morning, they'll work out at night. If they have an exam at night, they'll work out in the morning. and kind of works out like that. Exactly. Now we have Christmas coming up. I know you want to say something. Back home to Lithuania, you got the mic. Go ahead. Thank you. I'll go off in Lithuanian. So, uh, Mama Tete, uh, Karolis, Jonai, Mochute, Rimvi, Agle, Visus Ekin, Sukaledo, Milke Prezideo, Kaskapa Sakisu. Sukaledo. Great Thank game. You. What he said back to you guys. Perfect, uh, Mike, and uh, certainly we wish everyone back home well, too, that uh, Paulus was talking with. All right, let's take a look at the highlights. We'll wrap this up. Here's John. Yeah, a lot of uh, exciting basketball, Gary. Early on, it wasn't uh, real pretty at times, but, boy, a lot of movement. Kyle Stout uh, hit a couple of early threes. Great to see him shooting it in rhythm. We talked about the necessity of Lafayette knocking down threes. They got a little uh, careless at times. And, Imo, uh, uh, you know, Rosemont, you heard Fran O'Hanlon talk about them, Gary. I mean, this is a talented offensive team. Alex Petrie with a good first half hit a couple of threes. Again, good ball movement. Really like the tweaks and the wrinkles that Lafayette has put in the offense. Uh, early on, Polish Elise, a couple of times in transition, Gary, he just played with a lot of energy tonight. He was running the floor well, had a couple of dunks, and Lafayette did a good job defensively. Look at the save here by Stout ahead to Paulus. A little French pastry on that one. Just a little <laughs> bit of mustard on the dog there. And Lafayette having some fun. Uh, I'll tell you, though, Rosemont made you play defense, Gary. They were really good with the ball in one-on-one -on -one situations, and it was a good test tonight for them uh, as they challenged Lafayette uh, whenever they had the ball. Uh, here's a great pick and roll right here, a little teardrop. Uh, you know, Gary, they, they know how to play, and I can see why uh, they were picked uh, to win their league. Look at a little behind-the-back pass. That's Alex Petrie to Isaac Suffren. Um, Isaac Suffren, I thought, had a terrific night. Alex Petrie, again, it's always good to see Alex get going from the perimeter. We know how explosive he can be. And then, again, Polish Elise down the middle. That's his third slam dunk of the night. A little, uh, you know, mental lapse right there by Rosemont. And then, boy, Cal Rickwine off the bench. Gary had a couple of really nice-looking buckets. So nice to see those young guys who don't get a lot of playing time in the regular season but work hard every day in practice get some court time and make the most of it. All right, you get a look at some of the numbers. Uh, Lafayette with a good rebounding night and uh, shooting the ball okay. Uh, they did have 11 triples in the ball game. So everything turned out just fine as the Leopards 
break that losing streak. They go to three and seven. The 54 Rosemont points as you get a look at the individual leaders. Came on 21 field goals, 5 for 19 from the three-point line, 7 for 11 from the free throw line. And Basil Thompson, as you see, led the team with 15, the only double-figure scorer. Jaleel Myers with 13 rebounds. On the Lafayette side, they go to 3 and 7. They're 95 points on 36 field goals, 11 for 34 from beyond the arc, 12 for 18 from the foul line. Palace Chalice, double-double tonight, 15 points and 10 rebounds. Alex Petrie with 17, Kyle Stout with 13, and Isaac Suffren with 10 points. So they get ready for Princeton on Friday. We'll have that ball game for you at 7 o'clock. We'll also have a game for you tomorrow afternoon at noon when the ladies take on Cornell University. So we invite you to join us for both contests, and we thank you so much for joining us tonight. For John Sabino and his crew, a job very well done. For Mike Joseph, I will help John get home. I will let him <laughs> lean on me as he walks and limps his way Bowling. back home. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>